I just arrived to the theatre because we're going to have a concert tomorrow, rehearsal today, with the football team. I've been working with this football team, professional football players, for about two months. They have a side project in the team where they do cultural things. This year they are singing and I have tried to teach them how to sing, how to perform and so on. And tomorrow they are going to show the result in a concert. These guys are pretty nervous because they haven't performed music ever before. But it's going to be fun. Now I have to gear up my own things. <laughs> They will soon arrive before the concert, but it all started two months ago when we practiced. Uh, I think I have to ask you to be focused. Yeah. Yeah. Now. You can do better. Oh. What shall we do? What shall we do? What shall we do? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? Early in the morning. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> you are from Ukraine. Yeah. And now you're singing in Swedish and English and... Uh, Norwegian. And Norwegian. How is that? Uh, it's okay for me because uh, I'm not the first year in Sweden and a little bit I understand and it's like uh, easy to read for me. Of course, it's a little bit difficult just to remember like uh, all words, but uh, I think it looks quite good. Oh, good. What are we doing here? Should I play English? Yep. Okay, uh, we are uh, rehearsing. Uh, for the performance we're gonna have uh, at Storka Teatern next week. But you're a football player. Yeah. Why sing? Uh, I really don't know uh, why they started this from the beginning, but what I understand from coming here, it's uh, a group thing. So it's to get out from our comfort zone. Uh, and I think if we can do it here, it's gonna show on the pitch also. Uh, and we can perform even better as a team. Do you have fun? Uh, very fun. Good. På engelska. Jag vet inte hur folk går in när jag säger det. What has been the most difficult part in this project? Nej, men Roger, jag kan inte gå emot mig. The most difficult part in this project. Uh, it's been uh, controlling our own voices and coming together as a choir. <laughs> Is that because you're not used to it? I think so. It would feel easier to just play some football, but uh, it's okay. We solved the problem. from uh, this experience? Oof. Uh, stepping out the comfort zone is definitely one. And also things about music and singing and choir that I had no idea about before. Uh, controlling the voice, uh, not playing it safe. We all actually have a voice. I didn't know that before, but surprisingly we do. So that's probably been the biggest thing I've learned from it. <laughs> Det 
Jag känner på detta Anna Anna heter hon. Take I will take this in English because uh, so everyone can hear and uh, everyone can understand. Now we're gonna I'm gonna do song by song what we sing. So the first song we sing is Rut uh, Oxvart. Who are singing the first verse? Two on each microphone, try that. When the first chorus comes, you go back. Because some other people are singing the second verse, right? Yeah. So first chorus, you go back. Now? Yeah. And at the end of Woe Woe, the second verse is going to go towards the microphones and do it that now. Second. Second. Second, oh, second. second group. You, don't, you can't hesitate. Then you will be too late. <laughs> Are you nervous? <laughs> no, not today. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> not today. Not today. <laughs> The four first singers in Stad i Ljus. Mikko, Keita, Malle, Calvin. Uh, Mikko start. Yeah, so uh, when, you, when you have sung, you just take one step back so you can go towards the microphone. <laughs> difference in the group uh, with this project from what you see on the football field? Uh, quality wise and the, the different varieties that the players have in football, it's, this is out of the comfort zone as hell. So they need to trust themselves, they need to uh, think that they are able to and uh, this shows that you are stronger together because it sounds a lot better when we're all together than by ourselves and that's the whole foundation in football that it's a team sport, it's not an I in team so I think this proves it. seen is that uh, people are happy for other people's success. When they achieve something, people cheer and are happy for the guy that succeeds something. I think we can see that in the locker room as well. Uh, it's, it's a happier locker room right now uh, and uh, especially as, exactly like you explained, they're really happy for each other when they see the development uh, they do from week to week. So, so uh, it's been re really positive. 
Of the goodness of God. 